Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the M48A5 Patton. It's an American Tier 10 medium tank, and this one's located on the north spawn of Fisherman's Bay under the command of Loot the Supermarket. What an unusual name. Anyway, <laughs> what can I tell you about the M48A5? Well, uh, top of the tree, it's actually a modification of the M48. It was brought in 1970 and it was to bring the M48s up to the same standard as the M60. It's got a 105mm gun with penetration of 268 and alpha damage of 390. And you can see that big searchlight on the front of the gun and it's got a fume extractor on the barrel. They didn't all turn their switch their floodlights on when they were um, in action. What they would do is one of them would switch the light on, the others would shoot at what it saw, and then they'd switch the light off very shortly afterwards to avoid getting hit. But Leeds made it up to the center line, and he's got some targets in sight. Thanks to the Wizzy 132. And we spotted a TVP. Oh, C110. And he just put the ground in. High roll, 410. It's going to stop those enemy tanks from going across to the city, actually, because he's got a beautiful position here in this forward position. He can actually uh, spot them as they try to make their way across. Well, he thought there was something the other side. Well, there's uh, IS-3 trying to make it across the city. Lost 383 hit points. It's a low roll. And he's bounced around from the Type 61. Go for it again. And gets another hit. Oh, he got a fire! And the ice tree's gone up! Gotcha. So he obviously didn't have the fire extinguisher, or just wasn't quick enough. Puts a nice round into the M41 Bulldog. It's a low roll though. See him using this corner. Constantly on the move, not letting the enemy reckon where he's going to be next. He's not settling, but he's always keeping. Yep, so you can side scrape if necessary. Oh, we stopped for a second. I wonder if he's sending a message. He might be on the typewriter right now. I have a typewriter on the keyboard. Yes, I happen to be one of those generation who used to use the typewriter. I still own one as well. <laughs> oh, no, TVP. He's not firing, but he does now. He didn't want to fire straight off because it would have revealed his position and given the VTU a chance for a, a, a shoot back, but he got him on the move, so he had a blown rescue when he did, and that meant that he couldn't fire accurately. And he gets a double round into that M41, 426. He's now up to 2.5k damage. That 105mm gun is working very nicely. Okay, Type 4 Heavy, can he get a shot in? He's got, eight, he's got the heat rounds loaded. Uses APCR as uh, standard ammo, heat rounds as uh, premium. Yes, gets one in there on the TVP, but it's a low roll, 382. Carnarvon's visible, can he get around it? Goes for the engine bay, gets a fire, and he's gone up as well! So that's two fires he's got in this game so far. And he pivots on the spot. The, the, the pack attack is quite small, like the M60. It's got a big fat ass, but it's certainly uh, ass. <laughs> oh, that's a nice roll into the 430. That's a high roll, that one. It's got a big ass, but it can hide. Holding this corner. There is a type in there. Um, I think it's the top one of the type 4 heavies, maybe. Right, what's around that corner? Oh, it's the object 430. He was spotted though. And there's an E3 in the town. I want to get shot in the rear by that one. But he's moving up. He's pushing the enemy back now. Going for the Yoho. One through the turret. 390 points, a high roll. And the TVP's gone down. Can he get the 430? He's going for the Yoho, I think. No, nope, can't get a shot. Bounced around from a Wacken Breaker. 560 hit points saved or blocked. 
Going around the corner, going to go for the 430. Yes, beautiful shot there. 170, it's only a one shot, but the Wacken Traeger bounces him again. I don't think he's going to let that do again. Yep, 421, he's had another shot through that Wacken Traeger's uh, gun shield. Can he get a shot in the Oho? He's trying to. He's going to side scrape the corner to avoid the Wacken Traeger. Oh, no, he can't get the Oho at the moment. He's using the wreck for cover. Now he can. And he does get 436 is a high roll. He's picked up the high caliber. 5,370 hit points so far. He's also picked up 1,118 of the uh, spotting, which means obviously he's going to pick up a, a spotter badge. But there's a TVP BTU over on the uh, west side of the battlefield. And there's a Yak Tiger desperately trying to stay alive over there. The 40 tons going close. And the TVP's gone down. 270, um, the Yak Tiger got him. Now he's going to move up under cover. Can he get the Type 4? Yes, he does. 4.14, that's a high roll. Can he get another shot? I think so. Yes! Still using the heat ammo. Ah, Type 4 over there. This is the pair of Type 4s. Oh dear, they're, they're in platoon. Okay, so he's going to back back off. Because one of them is going to attempt to mount, the other one will shoot him. But he gets around. Oh, he fires it, but he doesn't get a connection. Somebody else does, and the Type 4 goes below the ridge line. So he needs to protect himself from one of those Type 4s while he's firing the other one. Otherwise, they'll double tap him. Or one will fire at him while the other one's uh, being focused or keeping him interested. And he's moving up to a position behind the bushes. Now he's unsighted at the moment. Can he get a shot to that type four? No! And that's annoying. That was a heat round. Should have connected and gone through. No, nope, that one bounced off as well. We didn't even go through. And you can... Oh, that one went through. But it's a low roll. And he's down. Okay, there's the type, the other type four. You can see some of the bounces on the, um, the turret armor. the Type 4, looks to me like he's going to help out with the others on clearing, clearing up the uh, east side of the battlefield first. Now that weapon trigger is still there, or at least he's still in the southeast corner of the map. He doesn't want to pull out yet because that weapon trigger might be able to get shot into him. He's still got most of his health though, 1,744 out of the 2,000, and he's got 6.5k of damage so far. I suspect that uh, Luke the Supermarket's been playing this tank a lot. I'd love to know how many games he's actually got. Type 61. Good round, but it's a low roll. Type 61 goes down though. Uh, is he going to go and engage the town? No, I think he's going to go lone hunting. He's going to go after the Type 4 and the Leopard. It's going to protect the cap. Now the uh, the M48 pattern uh, is not A5. It's not a particularly fast tank, actually. It's a, as they say, it's a jack of all trades and master of none. It's, it's not fast. It uh, does have a very good turret, which can bounce rounds quite nicely, especially if you're hull down. It has nine degrees of uh, gun depression. Did go south, or didn't go north, rather, I should say. Which tends to make me think they've fallen back. There they are. There's the leopard. He's in the open. That's a low roll, 381, but the leopard does know where he is and fires a round back. It doesn't get through. He gets another round in, but it's a low roll again. And he's trying another shot. 
No, he pulled back in time. Now's the time to move up and the, the tight force appeared. It's going to have to use that reach line creatively. Stay below the reach line as much as you can in defilade. Then he can move up on the tight four and the leopard. And the others, well, they are dealing with the last tank in the town. And that's the object 277. And as soon as he's been dealt with, they'll come over this side. And they've killed him, so it's everyone's going to be coming over here. Oh, there's the time for And he gets one round into the turret. 397, it's a high roll. But he's now got to sit here and tempt the time to come forward. And he does get another high roll. 402. Now, one more shot. Oh, 356, it's a low roll. He could have killed it with one. He got a high roll. And again, he'll get it this time. Yep, he does. There's the leopard. And he's in the open. It's almost like he's given up. Not one the high roll. He's going to fire one more round into us. Oh, drive. And he tracks us. I don't think he can pen. There's very little the leopard could do. He could try running north and around the outside. Oh, but that doesn't work because he is wiped out. And that is Loot the Supermarket's fifth kill. And, oh my god, 9.5k of damage! Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for Loot the Supermarket in the M48A5 pattern. He also managed to get a um, fighter badge for getting at least five, uh, four kills. Managed to get five in total. He got an arsonist badge. He set fire to two tanks. He got the IS-3 and... Who else did he set fire to? Uh, it was the Carnarvon. That was it. It was the Carnarvon Action at 10 he managed to set fire to. Uh, he also managed to get a shell proof for blocking more damage than the hit points to his own vehicle. Uh, a spotter badge for spotting at least a thousand hit points of damage. Uh, a fire for effect for dealing more damage than the hit points to his own vehicle. A bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 13. But best of all, here's the epic medals. He managed to get a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle. A confederate for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. And he got a tank sniper badge for taking out or doing the most damage at distance. Firing at least eight shots and getting 85% uh, accuracy. At least 80% of the shots causing damage. And, oh, that was a pretty effective round, actually. It shows that the uh, M48, it really does need to be practiced in order to make it work. But he did that beautifully. It was almost like he was uh, treating it as almost a light tank, hovering in a particular point, pivoting round and round and round, trying to get the best angles, and then sh popping out and doing a quick shot. So let's have a look at the team scores. Oh, look at that. Right at the top of the table, 9,925 hit points of damage. The next highest scorer was less than half of his score. That was the Leopard 1 with 4,359. Then, of course, he's got the uh, Object 277 with 3,423. And then we got the Lorraine 40 ton with 3,234. When it came to kills, he managed to get second highest. That was actually the, the Object 277 managed to get seven kills. He picked up a Top Gun and... Um, Loot Supermarket only managed to get five kills out of that one. Um, but the next highest scorers only had two kills apiece. When it came to base XP, Loot the Supermarket really aced that one totally beautifully. It was a 1481 base experience points. Next highest scorer was the Lorraine 40 ton with 1200. So he must have had a pretty good game as well. And then, of course, we got the Yag Tiger. The reason the Lorraine got so high was because he's tier 8 and the pattern is tier 10 so obviously he was burning a lot more uh, ex earning a lot more XP with every shot that he made and although he only did a third of the damage that loot supermarket made obviously every bit of it counted to build up a 1200 so I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, Jane 100 also picked up an ace tanker so if we have a look at the uh, detail report well we can see he fired 31 rounds of that 105 millimeter gun in that battle 27 of them were direct hits, 26 were penetrations. He did damage of 9,925 hit points, of which 5,069 were at more than 300 meters. He received 8 hits from the enemy, 2 of them were penetrations, 6 were non-penetrations. Shows the strength of that hull, it really has been very well armoured. When they upgraded these tanks to M60 standard, they really did want to make sure that they couldn't be penetrated. And that hull is very, very difficult to get through. 
um, not just the hull, but the turret as well. Uh, he blocked damage of 2,070 hit points. And, of course, some of those were two shots he blocked from the Waffentrager, would you believe it, with a 128mm gun. He spotted three of the enemy. Uh, damage 13, so there's only two tanks on the enemy team he didn't damage and killed five of them. He also caused damage assistance of 1,283 hit points by spotting enemy tanks for the rest of his team. On a premium count, he earned 124,475 for the battle, got a mission completion of 80,909. That's normally what you would get up here for the battle, but he got that as the mission completion reward, bringing up a grand total of 205,384 credits for one battle. After repair and ammunition resupply, and remember he did use a lot of premium ammo during that game, uh, but obviously he needed to use the heat ammo because otherwise he wasn't going to get through the armor of some of those tier 10s otherwise, or the tier 9s. Uh, he only ended up with 48,858 credits, but still it's a very good score. He received 7 bonds, uh, 2,221 XP, uh, 10,332 for mission completion and a reserves bonus of 1,110, meaning he took away 13,664 experience points from just one battle. And it's pretty amazing to see a battle where you score 9.5k of damage. We've seen them before on our channel. Uh, obviously, there was a Jaegeru game that somebody put up, which I um, converted to video. And he managed to get, I think it was over 10, 10k of damage. Uh, so it was certainly a lot. And it's amazing when you see somebody do that because they really own the battlefield. And look at that. Win 8, 17,040. So really, that's out of this world. That is fantastic. You don't even see some of the top Super Unicums get that because it's very difficult to get into the double figures on uh, in the thousands for um, uh, games like this. So congratulations, Luke the Supermarket. Thanks for sending in this replay. I really enjoyed it. And uh, I can't wait to get one of these myself and start performing like that. So if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.